So today we are going to be looking at a new Sword Art Online game coming to Roblox. At the minute there's no release date for this game, uh, but they're hoping to have it out by the end of the year. But obviously, don't blame them for not having a release date, otherwise it will just pressure the devs to have it out for then. And if it does release then, the game might be a big, bit more buggy. So we're just going to be looking through the sneaks here. Uh, I will put the Discord link in the description if you want to have a look at these yourselves, so you can stay up to date with the game, uh, so you can check any, if the release date gets scheduled or anything like that. So we're just going to go through the Sneak Peeks channel and just see. Let's just have a look. I haven't actually had a look at the, any of these yet. I joined this Discord maybe yesterday, and I've been saving it up for, to do this video. Uh, so I haven't actually looked through any of these yet. So let's look through them together. So this first one seems to be a combat preview. Oh, I'm guessing. Oh, I don't know this music's copyrighted or not, so I'll mute it. It looks like it's got hits done, which is always a positive for any game. The dashing looks kind of cool. Might be an ability of some sort. Okay, well that's just the combat. That's just the combat preview. Obviously, they're probably going to do more combat previews. Seeing as this is combat preview number one. Uh, but yeah, that's the combat. Uh, so this is okay. So they sneak the second floor. There seems to be some sort of icy floor. Whoever made this map, props to them. That looks absolutely amazing. This is only the second floor, but it looks amazing in my opinion. So UI clothing equip demonstration, M1 combat demonstration, dash cooldown added, dash collision added, dash replication added. Let's just actually pause there because there's a lot on the screen that we can see. So we got the UI, uh, which is obviously very Sword Art Online like, as it is a Sword Art Online game. I like it, it looks good. Uh, okay, you can see emissions. Uh, don't know what that is down there, that's obviously cash. Don't know what these two are. Yeah, the player model looks nice as well. All of it looks great. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so you obviously got the UI from Sword Art Online, uh, the menu. Which is very cool. So you got all your equipment, okay. So that's him equipping some like armor. Oh, and now he's got a key to those the uh, black cloak on, okay. And there's the dash as well. Okay, th those M ones look clean. They, they they look clean. That dash as well. Okay, I'm really looking forward to this game. I don't know when this game was first announced that it was being made. I only found out about it a couple days ago. But it, it looks promising, it does. It looks promising. A UI in-game sneak. Guess this is showing off the menu, basically. Oh, there's the lockout button. Okay. That's basically just showing there's going to be guilds. Maybe that's how you're going to message in-game. Maybe this uh, chat thing up here is not going to work, but you're going to be able to use the messaging in-game instead. Okay, so you can access all your skills from here. Or your equipment, obviously. Armor plus map sneak. Okay. New rare dark armor added to the game. Let's have a look at this. Looking pretty cool. Like the models. The game looks stunning as well. Like the graphics. Obviously, any game in Roblox now seems to have pretty good graphics. But then the actual game, the gameplay wise, just sucks. So hopefully, this game can have good graphics, but also have good gameplay as well. Okay, more combat sneaks. Alright, we've already seen the combat, but let's just have a look. Might have some moves we haven't seen yet. Okay, ooh. Seems like there's some sort of clashing when you M1. Okay, that's cool. And obviously when you're not both uh, moving your sword at the same time, you can obviously get your combo off. I like the block thing. That looks cool. Okay, so is this floor one, I'm guessing? Wow. Wow. I'm guessing it's probably going to be like the anime where uh, you have to clear it. Like, there's obviously a boss, and then you can progress to the next floor. So, there's a dungeon thing you got to do. Hmm. Is that just me? Because that sprint looks really fast. Either that or it's his arms are just moving really fast. I'm not too sure. So, that's someone's guild that they made. So, so you can have your guild logo. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> that's, so, that's how the messaging system is going to look like. Floor 1 and Town of Beginning Sneak. Okay, awesome. This is probably the Town of Beginnings. Looking pretty cool. Very cool. I'm pretty sure we saw this in a sneak earlier, actually. Because some of these would have been the um, earlier sneaks. Uh, and obviously the later ones, if they've already sneaked them, then they sure they can just show it for something else. If that makes sense. But this must be Floor 1, then. Okay, looking very cool. Game is looking very promising. If you want to go through all these sneaks, obviously some are further back, some are just showing stuff that you've already seen uh, down here as well. But if you want to go look at these, I will leave the Discord link in the description and the pinned comment. Uh, but there is also something else I do want to show. Uh, you might be thinking, you know, SAO, uh, there's a permadeath situation, you know, you die in the game, you die in real life. There's basically just some like, FAQs here. 
uh, they obviously they want it to uh, release before the end of next year everything goes well uh, if you want to obtain tester uh, the testers can only be obtained via, via subscribing to the patreon uh, however application may possibly open in the near future uh, the game will not be mobile on release uh, but definitely be in for, for the future uh, the game is planned for, to be released will the game have permadeath towns are safe zones official duels is no perma wipe if you get jumped in the forest outside safe zones you lose one of your assets and it goes to who killed you and in dungeon raids if you die you wipe because you took the risk yourself so that's what it's like basically and the progression system so game progression is similar to character and um, weapon building there will be leveling systems for stats which can boost your targeted area of input however certain jobs such as craftsman or swordsman will boost different essentials such as if you chose to go a swordsman you'll have a higher percentage damage output and swing speed in comparison to being a craftsman or you have a higher buff on percentage success when crafting for the overall progression the game is based on its immersive environments and wide ranges of exploration you can choose to beat up mobs in the forest or travel to different levels with friends collecting materials as you fight bosses to boost your item enhancement you can peek K for EXP and game bounty on the bounty board or you can also uh, solo grind and raid dungeons with or without friends. So if you don't know what PKing is, it's basically player killing, you know, PvP, that kind of thing. Uh, that's also quite quite important because if we go back to the sneak channel, uh, you can see above the head they've got these um, these like green, uh, almost a bit like The Sims, if you play The Sims they've got that thing above the head. Obviously if you haven't watched Order Online you might not know, uh, but if uh, there's basically different stages of this, there's a green, there's a amber and then there's red. Uh, amber i think is if you uh, hurt someone a few times or something like that or you like, attempt to kill someone it changes to amber not overly sure on the specifics but red is when you are like a player killer basically so obviously if you see someone with a red uh, thing above the head you know they're probably going to come and try and kill you uh, so yeah i'm not too sure about the specifics of how you get the different ones i just know it's to do with hurting people and like pking and whatnot so yeah just thought i'd mention that anyway i'm gonna end this video here i've you know, been through a few of the sneaks once again if you want to see them the link will be in the description to this discord server and in the pinned comment uh, but yeah if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe uh, click the bell to never miss a video and join my discord down below in the description anyway see you